Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Jinlong inverter, and if you have a look on the screen of this one, you can see we've got the power light on, we, the operation light is not on, and if the operation light isn't on, that means the inverter is not working, and we have the alarm light on. Now, if you have a look on the screen here, it says status 0V bus, and then it scrolls to this power reading, so uh, you can see there it's it's uh, zero watts, so it's not producing any power at the moment. So if we scroll up or down, it goes to uh, this status, which is zero V bus. What that's saying is, um, well, actually it's O V bus, which is over voltage on the bus inside the inverter. So that's, uh, this is actually an internal fault on the inverter. If your inverter is coming up with O V bus like this, and so, it is something which will require your inverter to be looked at. You can try and reboot the system if you are having an issue like this and see if that clears it. I'm doubtful that it will, but it's always worth trying that because uh, it's a lot cheaper to uh, try a reboot than it is to just replace the inverter straight off the bat. So if you are going to try a reboot, what you want to do is you want to follow a shutdown procedure, which should be something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch or the inverter AC isolator. So you will have a solar supply main switch in your switchboard. And if your inverter is not installed beside your switchboard, it's quite likely that you'll have an inverter AC isolator like this one. So just throw that off or the solar supply main switch in your switchboard. And then you turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So this side, We've got a PV ray DC isolator there, and you wait a few seconds for the inverter to go completely blank. Like so, and then you can try rebooting the inverter. So it's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure correctly, but the startup procedure doesn't matter too much. As long as you turn everything back on, it's all good. So we're just gonna throw the DC back on over here. Looking. There we go and then throw the AC back on as well. And the uh, Jinlong will try and start up again and we'll see if it clears the er error. Now, if your Jinlong was installed within the last five years, then it should be an issue which is covered under warranty. And so you, you can try and make a warranty claim with the company who installed it originally for you. And to do that, one thing you'll need is the model of the inverter and the serial number, which can be found on the data plate over on this side. So here you see we have the model here, GCI5K, then we've got the serial, serial number down here. They're the two most important things. And you can see it says PAC nominal 5,000 watts. So this is a five kilowatt inverter, this, this model, Jinlon. And you will also most likely need uh, some proof of purchase, like uh, of the invoice of when it was originally installed or a certificate of compliance or something like that from the elite electrician who installed it for you to, uh, to make a warranty claim. So this is still in a startup procedure at the moment. It does take a while, it just sits on that status initializing for quite a while there. Okay, so the inverter's just fired up again, and we can see the alarm lights back on, and it's coming up with OV bus. So this is definitely a problem internally with the inverter, and uh, will require the inverter be replaced. Now, unfortunately, this one's out of warranty, so it will need to be replaced with a brand new inverter. Uh, there's no point in really getting it uh, repaired if it's outside of warranty, because uh, you can you can repair it and pay $500 or so to get it repaired and then it could have another problem next week and you're not covered again so you may as well spend a bit more money bite the bullet and get a good quality replacement inverter with a full manufacturer's warranty and if you're in southeast Queensland near the Gold Coast or Brisbane area don't hesitate to get in contact with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions we've been more than happy to help thanks very much for watching this video I hope it's been helpful for you